Welcome to Good Mythical More. Um, there's some iconic best friend characters out there. Maybe we have unknowingly patterned our friendship after one of them. Well, and you know, I often see people tweet best friend characters and like this is like this is like Red and Link. So let's see if we see any crossover there. Yeah, let's see which but ones first, we're closest to. Congratulations, kitten. Hmm. <laughs> A uh, kitten got uh, $50 to mythical.com because oh. kitten is sporting that merchicality out in the wild. Hashtag merchicality. Listen. Kitten already had a great nature walk today and now gets this little treat. There you go. Wow. All right, spend it wisely. You know, if you if you rip that merch out in the wild, we might find you. We might say thank you. We will $50. find you. $50. And we will thank you. Okay, best friend characters. Now people yeah. often say, Frog and Toad. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see that mm -hmm. quite Oh, often. really? Yeah, uh-huh. I see that quite often. Okay, is that one of them, Stevie? These are also, I, I would say, I would not limit it to characters. These are just duos. Good. Um, out, out in the wild. Good. You'll, you'll see what I mean. We're gonna start with the character, though. Bert and Ernie. Okay. Classic. Um, so, I mean, well, there's a tall one. People would there's automatically make me uh, Bert and you, Ernie, you, because you of, used to have a unibrow. Of course, so did I. Uh, and now you have no eyebrows. No, well, actually, you know, you still do. Okay, yeah. So you're not like Ernie in that way. Um, but I'm trying to think of. Their, Isn't Bert grumpy? Bert's more like. Mm, 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 uh, uh, I can't do it. No, that's Ernie. Mm, well, this Bert is he lower? I think Bert's is um more nasal. Bert is the. Is serious, studious, and tries to make sense of his friend's actions. Yeah, we don't. Well, okay, all right. So that last part, yes. And Ernie is what? Ernie is a practical, joking, extroverted dude. And he laughs like this. Yeah, I think we don't. It's not a perfect map, but it it definitely matches up better, yeah. uh, both physically and in their characteristics. Yes. Yeah. They just need to switch sides. Ernie's they, best companion outside Bert? of Bert is Rubber Ducky. <laughs> right. And Bert has his pet pigeon, Bernice. Ooh, I love pigeons. So oh, Bert is the president of the National Association of W Lovers. <laughs> w Lovers? He loves a good W. W Lovers. That sounds like something I'd be into. It's those two points on the bottom. Oh, Unfortunately for Bert, his nose has come off of his face on a number of occasions. Maybe there's like a chin thing there. A chimp thing? Chin. Bert's oh. nose has come off? Well, I will say neither of them have a chin, so I have that in common with them. <laughs> what if Bert had a really big beard? <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> Hippie Bert. Yeah, so this one's pretty good. This is this is this may be the gold standard for us. Uh you know, I do have a special relationship with pigeons. Actually, my family does. We we've talked about Shepherd's relationship with pigeons, but did you know? No that a white pigeon visited my wife. What do you mean? Well, let me show you. Because she documented this. It is actually quite visited remarkable. Visited your wife, like in a dream? When you say visited, it's just like. Well, you'll see. Uh, this white pigeon, uh, she said, today a, a white pigeon came and chilled by our pool, completely unafraid of me, like it owned the place. Gotta be a good omen. Even if the dogs were pissed, right? So this thing like literally like hung out. Are they rare? A white pigeon? I don't know, but it like basically was there the whole time and then it flew away. Like so I think pigeons, I think okay. the pigeon community has, uh, someone from See? the pigeon community is watching This is another mythical morning. This is another sign that you are Bart, dude. Huh, it says, seeing a white pigeon is a rare event as only 1% are all white. Wow. I mean, it's not, That's it's special. not that rare. I mean, sometimes you see 200 pigeons on like one lady in Central Park. So two of them are gonna but be white. I, yeah, there might be a white one in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bert okay. and Ernie. Bacon and eggs. <laughs> see, oh. this is what I meant, you know? It's okay. not characters. So how could we, who would be bacon, who would be eggs? Eggs can go mm. all different types of ways. Uh, do you go both ways? All the ways. No, I don't go all the ways. Uh, uh, everybody loves then, bacon, but bacon causes cancer. 
Uh, it's it's actually it's like one of the most loved, but but one of the worst foods. So who's that between us? <laughs> who's like everybody bad loves for them, you, but, but irresistible? Really, really bad. I don't know. I'd like to think we're both good for people. Uh, um, there's a lot of myths about eggs. You know, people are like, oh. Yeah, you should just eat the egg white and not the egg yolk because of cholesterol. But then basically they're like, actually, no, it's not really that bad. Just eat the whole thing. It's fine. You can boil them. But then sometimes if, if eggs come on a little bit too strong, like they are in this picture, like, I mean, you don't like eggs like that, right? It's I like, don't. It's too runny. So people complain about eggs. That's both of us. People complain about both of us. What about one of us is round and one of us is skinny? Uh, I'm well, rounder. I mean, I'm taller. My, my face is rounder. You can eat eggs every day, but you don't want to eat bacon every day. I think Link's bacon. Hey, I'll be bacon. Why? I'll be bacon. I mean. Because I'm a treat, and I'll kill you. Yeah. Too much of me will kill you. You got to have me in doses. <laughs> my family's got to send me away occasionally. <laughs> uh, I think Link is bacon because if you just have bacon, you might think, I wish I had a little eggs. <laughs> I wish I had a little eggs to balance this meal out, right? Well, what are you saying? I'm if just you just, saying, if I'm just, I, I'm I never just, saying, just have eggs. I'm, uh, but, you know, uh, but everybody loves bacon. I mean, they're, but, they're better together. Bacon has like societies, uh, you know, devoted to it, and people people get pictures of People wear bacon suits. I mean, being bacon's great. Oh, I said I'll take bacon. It's great. It's great. I just think that... Nobody's got an egg suit. I don't love eating eggs without bacon. And I don't really love eating bacon without eggs, but I will. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to read into it too much. I'm bacon. Okay, Miss Piggy and Kermit. (laughs) Well, this is a romantic duo. (laughs) Well, I mean, well, one, you know, Miss Piggy is, uh, you know, very dominant and controlling in yeah, the and, relationship. And I, and I play the guitar, so uh, I think I'm Kermit. <laughs> Hi ho! I think I'm just sort of doing my best, <laughs> just trying to make it through the day. Hi ho! Yeah, I don't call me ho. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I'm not buying this one because this is a romantic relationship. This is not a friendship but, duo. But sometimes they're just friends. Oh, really? I mean, sometimes they sometimes they break up. Kermit! They never... I, I'll be Miss Piggy. She's larger than life. She's vivacious. She's not... She's She doesn't apologize for who she is. Yeah, she's got yeah. some frills going on or... or uh, what, is that a boa? Yeah. You probably wear a boa to the streamies one year. Give us three, three to four yeah, years. Yeah, give me a few more years. And Rhett will just wear a collar. Yeah, I'll just. Is that a collar? or Is that frog skin? Well, you could yeah, wear a frog skin collar what? to what? the streamies. What is going on with Kermit's? What's your necklace, Rhett? What, what, it's frogs. Uh, what is happening there? Is Let it, me see. It, it, I mean, I guess it's like what a jester wears. Yeah, I do think it's, it's like a, a gotta, collar. Gotta have something. Mm-hmm. Um, ride a bike it is too. a collar. It looks really weird when Kermit rides a bike. It looks weird when you ride a bike. Oh, for a brief yeah. period of time in the early 1970s, uh, Kermit Kermit <laughs> Kermit sported a double double collar. Yeah. Really? So they called it a collar. Yeah. It's still not frog skin. I mean, frog Single skin. collar with eleven points. Eleven points. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Piggy. Uh, ketchup and mustard. We're back to food. Oh, I am definitely mustard in this situation. Um, I mean, I wear why, why? I wear more yellow. Yeah, your your yellow's more of your color. Uh, I'm less sweet. You're less sweet. Uh, um, you can get you can get spicy. Yep. You don't have to be spicy, and um, a little goes a long way. What I mean, about it depends on how much you like mustard. Yeah. What about ketchup? Ketchup, it can be sweet. Um, it can. Um, what else about ketchup? It get, um, you can stick your finger it, in it. It just likes to get all over things. 
Sla it likes to be. It likes to slather all over things. Thank you, Stevie. What did you say? I said you can stick your finger in it. You can also do that with mustard. Let's be yeah, honest. You stick your finger. You're saying you stick your finger in me. What does that mean? Well, I mean that was that was kind of the joke. Stick your finger in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was sort of the joke. Oh. Yeah. What what else about ketchup? Just making a statement about ketchup, and I don't know that it applies to me. Um, kids like it. I kids mean, like it. There, yeah, <laughs> Carney made a good point. There's, to, there's all, it's all tomato, so it is a little bit weird that it is Link. It's all tomato. But no, but I find that if we meet like a a young like a like if we now we don't have many young fans anymore, but if we meet a fan that has a young child with them, a lot of times that child is afraid of me. Let's just be honest. Right. Uh, and kids don't like mustard. It's an acquired taste. But once you start yeah. liking it, you actually make the switch to just putting it on your hot dogs. Well, you know, I, again, this is not a competition. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm just saying. This is not one or the other. This is, this In is fact, both. In fact, they being... really work great together. Oh, yeah. You twizzle, twizzle them together. When you make an you... orange sauce together that's ketchup and mustard together. You talk about Ooh. tomatoes, though, and my hatred for them. I more I've been impacted by one thing that I've eaten on this show more than anything I think. I'm obsessed with it. And it's so strange. I tried to give it to had a group of friends hanging out at the house and I had a big a pack of this stuff and I tried to get everybody to eat it. I made everybody eat it. And everybody said it was horrible. How often does that happen when I love something and everybody else says it's gross? Um, and pretty often. pretty often. Do you know what this yeah. is? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. dehydrated uh, tomatoes? The tomato jerky? It is that v vegan tomato jerky. I am obsessed with that stuff. The teriyaki um, and cracked pepper. I will say it's good. Tomatoes. It is really good. Why, who are you giving it to that doesn't, doesn't my, like my it? My dad friends all hated it. Your, oh, your friends that are dads. That are dads. My dad friends, they mm -hmm. all hated it, and um, what was the setting? Because jerk, I think a I jerky know. Party. They call it a cir circle did, jerky. Just just hanging out, hanging out by the it's, fire pit. It's when dads get together around a fire and share a jerky. Circle jerky. Yeah, we were we were around the fire pit in a circle, and I was I was uh, I was giving them the jerky. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I and think you may have you may I have love it. it too on too hard. It even says umami on it. Yeah. And I don't even think I like umami. I don't like tomatoes. It's like something about all of that coming together. Well, that's it. It had to be ooh daddy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you sold it wrong. You so, sold it wrong. Um yeah, my mouth is watering right now for those tomatoes. You so you have these at home like stocked now. Yeah. Oh. I don't I don't really remember it. It's it fits a slot that nothing else can go in, in terms of snacks. It's mm. so different. Let's see another duo. Romeo and Juliet. Again, I mean, this is, I don't, why are you, why are you giving us romantic relationships? This I don't is, know. I mean, it is a duo. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's duo, a duo that comes to mind. It's a couple. Well, but, I mean, just focus on the personality. Traits. All I remember about this is that we they showed this movie at school and there, this movie. there's boobies. Mm -hmm. There's boobies. There's boobies in it. And I and I know every time this comes up I talk about it because I always remember it. I just love the fact that we and I've listened. Why were her I, boobies? I'm from the same place as you are, so when we see Romeo and Juliet, we are like that movie. <laughs> the movie with you the know, boobies. It's like you you might be a redneck. <laughs> Here's when your you, sign. When you hear Romeo and Juliet and you think about the movie. Um, why was she topless? I mean, I can't remember why. Because it was the 90s, man. Um, so we'll think, let's think about their families. Well, you got the Montecues and you got the Monte Cristos, I think. <laughs> I don't remember the other one. Is it the Capulets? Capulets, that's right. Um, and uh, I don't know anything about them. So it says um, the extroverted Romeo takes the lead in their romance. Um, Romeo is the pursuer, and Juliet is quieter and more of an introvert. 
Romeo is searching for a deeper meaning in his life and he needs flexibility and freedom and he fights against the box his parents want to put him in. Mm. Um, but he's looking for meaningful, authentic connections and he's very in tune with his feelings. Mm. Um, and, oh, Carney. I don't know if you he's think, there. Uh, I, think, I think Link is Romeo for sure. I think I'm... And Juliet has long hair. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And have you seen the rack on this guy? <laughs> Let's just do the next one. I pass. I pass. Oh, we're passing on this? Yeah, yeah. I'm Juliet. He's Romeo. Oh. Okay. Good. Uh, Walter White and Jesse Pinkman. Ha! Well, since Walter, Walter White, White looks is like so much like my dad, yeah. and I have a lot of my dad in me. Did your dad have a goatee now? He has a beard. He has a beard? This is easy. Shaved man. head. You're, yeah. you're Jesse Pinkman all day, man. Yeah, he's like, he, you know, he, he's enthusiastic. He might fly off the handle, but it's, it's all the time. And then you've got this slow, seething development of like when is when is when is the bald guy gonna blow yeah and this is how i'm going to wear my hair and my goatee when i get older you think you're gonna go um gonna shaved head shaved head and goatee and glasses that's how i'm going out that's gonna be the last 20 years of my life and you've changed a lot. Get ready to deal with it. Like Walter, he changed a lot. He got himself into a right. predicament. I used to be a science teacher. Um, but yeah, I think I think just the energies. The energies kind of map a little, a little more, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. And I, I mean, this is the kind of thing that like, if you were to like uh, survey the mythical beast, it's like, which that would be an interesting game to play. Like, what percentage of people? Well, we said, are surveying the mythical beast. It's the mythical survey. Right, right, right. Promo time. Mythical census. Uh, it doesn't have a question about this on it, but I, you can write it in if that's what you want to do. I, I don't think Walter White did he ever demonstrate a sense of humor. Oh yeah. Like I can't recall him being happy. Uh, yeah, yeah. He wasn't. He he wasn't particularly happy, but he did when things were going well. He had a, a sly sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he had some good lines. Yeah, some one, good lines. Once he really came into his own, he once became, he started wearing he was, that fedora. But it was very dry. It was a dry humor. I'm gonna have a fedora. A dry, well. intimidating humor, scaring children. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling good about that one. Boy, I, I think about Breaking Bad, I'm like, I could I could watch that again. But then it's such a commitment. Yeah, and then I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. I've been told that I need to watch Better Call Saul and that some people say it's better, but I, when am I gonna do that? Man, this is a predicament. Remember that middle school musical we made? Remember that? So good. That's so good. Still surfaces. If you wanna see some kids play Walter White and Jesse Pinkman, um, just search um, Breaking Bad, the middle school musical. All those kids were scared of me. Yeah, they were. Join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th to get the My Hair Goes Vinyl. Visit mythicalsociety.com.